points are in Luton, Dom, and you always had a few vacancies, you know what I mean? There's always one or two, but I mean, I've got... For Ferris, I've got seven, I've got 17 cleaners up for Ferris. Bloody hell. And two years there, we've had a vacancy. And there's always, with a place like that, there's always people coming and going. No, it's, it's look, looking pretty bleak. It is, mate, it is. You know, the, the thing is these days, if you've got something, you'll keep it. Yeah. My oldest one, wait, trying to get in the army at the moment, he's um, got his final interview Tuesday next week. Yeah? And he's got his physical, he's already done one lot of physical fitness, but another lot of physical in RF to see. Now, he got this, he, he did public services at college for two years. He wanted to get in the RAF and couldn't get in that lane, so he's gone for the army now. But you know, all of them really—they're all up against it, aren't they? I wouldn't like to be. Um, I wouldn't like to be. No, no. Unemployed now. My mother turned around and said to me a few years ago, "Well, we had it a lot harder than you." And I said, "You didn't, Mum. You didn't. You never had it hard as us." And I said, "We're not going to have it harder than this one because these kids are ne most of them will never afford their own house or nothing, will they?" No. No. What they put on there? Uh, lift your top up then. Lift it up. Get them moving it. Get them moving it. I've got it. <laughs> hmm. Now we started well. Yeah.